In this video, we'll look at the equation for strontium sulfate plus water. That's SrSO4 plus H2O. So strontium sulfate, that's a solid. So let's put a little S down here for solid. And then we're putting this in liquid water and we want to know what happens. So strontium is a metal and then the whole sulfate ion is made up of nonmetals. So this is an ionic compound and often ionic compounds are soluble. We should check our solubility rules though. So we're looking for the strontium ion or the sulfate ion. And here it says most sulfates are soluble with a few exceptions. And here's one of the exceptions, strontium. So because strontium is an exception, this is not soluble in water. So we put this solid strontium sulfate in water and nothing happens. It just falls to the bottom of the beaker or the test tube. It's insoluble. Note that when we say insoluble, we mean almost all of it does not dissolve. So a little bit dissolves. So we could write an equation just for the little bit of strontium sulfate that dissolves. We'd say that the sulfate ion, the whole thing, is 2 minus, and the strontium ion, that's 2 plus. It's in group 2 on the periodic table. So we'd have Sr2 plus plus that sulfate ion. And we should put aqueous, Aq, after these since they're dissolved in water. But again, only a little bit of the strontium sulfate is going to dissolve in water since it's insoluble. Most of it will be at the bottom of the test tube. Sometimes with an equation like this, you'll see the water placed on top of the arrow. So this is another way you could write the equation for the very small amount of strontium sulfate that dissolves in water. You'll even see water put in the products, but since we wrote AQ for aqueous, we're saying that it's already dissolved in water. That might be a little redundant. But that's how you write the equation for strontium sulfate plus water. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.